So I've been living in Toronto for a little bit over a year now and I am actually moving out of this apartment. <laughs> definitely haven't done this in a while. I refocused my camera like three times and changed my sweater so <laughs> it's been a while. So today I'm sitting here with my tea. As you can tell from the redness on my nose, I'm sick right now. I always get sick at this time of year and there's been a lot going on so it makes sense that my body can't handle it and I'm getting sick. But in the spirit of today's video, I am using my mug that says you are amazing. <laughs> because that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. So I've been living in Toronto for a little bit over a year now, and I am actually moving out of this apartment uh, in a couple days. <laughs> I need to start packing. But I just wanted to take a moment to kind of reflect on the last year and a bit of my life because I feel like since I've moved here, I have changed a lot in a good way, grown and really like found who I am. I think because I'm sick and like it's, the middle of the night right now i'm feeling really reflective and emotional so i wanted to film this video <laughs> i would say moving into this apartment was one of the biggest and hardest decisions of my life but one of the best ones and that may sound dramatic because i grew up not too far outside of the city of toronto but i moved like downtown toronto and so much has happened in the year that i've lived here this year has really challenged me it's also been one of the best years of my life so many great things have happened so many accomplishments in this apartment so many memories made and like i said i think this year in this apartment here, I've really found who I am right now, at least, <laughs> because I'll always continue to change and grow. Deciding to move away from a place that you called home um, and away from your family for the first time, especially to move in by yourself. I think the first time anyone moves away from their family home, that year will always be a huge year of growth. There are so many firsts and so many lessons learned. And for me, that was this past year because I didn't move out when I went to uh, university. I commuted to school and lived at home with my parents. So when I graduated and moved downtown Toronto, this was my first home on my own, my first apartment. <laughs> so I've put together a short list here of a few things, five things that I think have really made me grow this year and things that I want to continue practicing to really live my best life and make me me. The first thing is saying yes and saying it often. So saying yes has been beneficial in a few different aspects of my life, but I would say for growing the most this year, I've definitely said yes to going out more, to stepping outside my comfort zone, saying yes to things that I normally wouldn't say yes to, whether it's like going out with friends to a place that I've never been or maybe I didn't think I would like going there but I just said yes anyways and had a great time or saying yes to new opportunities at work um, helping someone out with something that maybe I don't feel comfortable doing but I said yes and figured it out along the way and now I learned something new saying yes has helped me in so many ways this year and the trick is to say yes often you're not gonna grow by saying no to things that make you uncomfortable say yes to things that are taking you outside of your comfort zone experiencing new things trying new things Things and learning and growing along the way. I think you will always be thankful for the times that you said yes and those are the memories that you're making versus all the times you said no and stayed inside your comfort zone. The next one, and this has been huge this year, is setting your goals and then just narrow in and focus on those goals. For me this past year I've had two main goals. One was to save up for my own condo and I'm really happy to say that I'm moving out of this place and moving into a place of my own that I own which is a huge accomplishment for me and something that I have honestly been wanting since the, the day that I earned my first paycheck. I've always been saving um, with the intention of buying a home uh, and if you know anything about the Toronto real estate market you know that houses I should say are not quite affordable so this home is definitely a condo but nevertheless no matter how tiny it is I'm so excited and it's perfect I can't wait to show you guys it is so beautiful and I'm really excited to decorate I get my keys in just a few days now so I am excited to share this with you and uh, show you guys everything from decorating to moving in all the ups and downs it's gonna be so much fun but yeah that was a huge goal of mine and there's been so many times where I have made sacrifices I had that clear goal in my head I wanted to rent for a, a year it's 
been a little bit over a year. I like finished my lease and then continued month to month, but uh, this year renting was kind of my test with the area, testing with like living on my own, seeing if I like it, what features in a building that I like, what amenities I care for, before obviously committing to buying something because that's obviously long term. I'm really glad that that like that was my plan, that was the goal that I set out and I was able to achieve it. That took a lot of planning and a lot of daily reminders. Like I always had this in my head. Every single day I would remind myself what my goals are and that's what helped me to achieve it. My second goal for the last year has been to focus on my career. I've really put a lot of time and energy into my work life as you guys have noticed because I haven't been uploading as much as I want to on here but I am excited to share my moving journey with you so definitely more uploads to come but yeah this year at work has been amazing like I can't, I can't even explain it to you there's been so many great opportunities a lot of late nights and early mornings but I am loving every minute of it I absolutely love what I do and all of the cool things that like it's always evolving and changing and there's a lot of really cool opportunities that I'm working on right now and um, I really have like my focused attention on what I want to achieve and reminding myself of those things and then just diving in and doing it. I'm a huge believer in setting goals because if you don't have a goal then you're just aimlessly like what are you working towards you're just aimlessly li living life and that's that's another thing like it's obviously great to live in the moment and to be present and yes that's maybe something that I'm not perfect at um, and maybe I should do more of that but I really love to have my goals top of mind so that I can wake up wake up every morning with a purpose and know exactly what I'm working towards and how I'm going to achieve it the third thing that has changed me in the last year is feeling comfortable being alone so I lived alone here in this apartment for for actually a year so that was something that definitely challenged me this year was feeling comfortable being alone whether it was like going out by myself or just like living alone and being really happy being here alone there have definitely been moments of feeling lonely but I think what brings you to that next level is the ability to feel comfortable being alone and being happy. Finding that comfort in being alone really helps you to be a stronger person and be a more confident person. It allows you to really figure out who you are, figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are, get to know yourself a little bit more, and I think I've really done a lot of that this year. Prior to living alone, that was something that I really struggled with. Like I had a hard time like going places by myself. I felt like dependent on other people or just like finding a lot of comfort in being with other people which is is a good thing but also you need to have that comfort in being by yourself as well I don't know there was like a point where I was like nervous to go to the store by myself so living on my own has really challenged me and pushed me outside my comfort zone and now I can do anything by myself <laughs> now I'm actually like the opposite I'm like too stubborn that I like to do things on my own <laughs> the fourth one and this is like a quote or a motto that I was living by in the last year and that is cut the clutter and I don't necessarily mean physical clutter I think it is really great to be organized and like live a little bit more minimalistic and get rid of things that are just like taking up clutter in your home but that saying cut the clutter uh, I take it more in like the aspect of your life and the things or people that you have in your life. In the last year I've been really strict on the people that I keep close to me in my life and I'm trying not to sound like really cold here but I have learned that if a person is not adding any positive value into your life then you really need to evaluate that relationship and figure out if it's something that you need in your life and because if they're not then they're only going to you know bring you down or add negativity to your life or they're not helping bring you forward to accomplish some of your Goals. Why is that negative energy around you? You don't need that. Cut the clutter so you can bring yourself forward. It is a little bit selfish. Like I'm not trying to be cold, but I do think that if you're just keeping someone around for the sake of having someone around or for the sake of not being lonely, feel comfortable being alone and cut the clutter because you don't need any negative people in your life. And it doesn't need to be done in a rude way. I'm not saying like ghost someone or like cut everyone out of your life. I think there are tactical ways to maybe distance yourself from negative people in your life. It is an important thing to like be a little bit selfish and focus on yourself and evaluate if um, there are any negative people in your life. You don't need them making your life negative. And the last one, the last one that has been 
uh, really instrumental in making me me the last year and changing me and making me a better person is, is to really lean on your friends and family, rely on them as your support system because they love and care for you so much. <laughs> they are in your life for a reason and really allow yourself to be vulnerable and use them as your support system because yes, it's great to feel comfortable being alone, but you know, you can't go through everything alone in life. Be there for your friends and family as much as you want them to be there for you and make great memories together. I have had so many fun memories with my friends and family in the last year. It's been incredible and really just focusing on the people that add a lot of value to my life and being there for each other. It's a two-way street. You need to be there for people too, but I'm really saying like focus on those relationships because those are the ones that are going to help you to continue to grow, uh, make you a better person, and be there for you no matter what. They're your support system. So I really did want to reflect on the last year of my life because there have been so many incredible memories and I really wanted to remember it. Like this little apartment has been my first home here. It's a disaster right now because I'm like selling all my stuff and uh, decluttering <laughs> my physical belongings and getting ready to move. I'm so excited to share it with you. I, I can't even explain it. I just wanna like show you everything. <laughs> so many vlogs coming soon. But yeah, this little place will always be my first home and I'm getting a little bit emotional to move out of my first home in Toronto. But I'm excited to move on to bigger and better things and I mean that literally because this this apartment was so tiny. Thank you guys for being so patient this year and I'm looking forward to sharing many many more moments with you. I will link on the screen here uh, my apartment tour if you want to check out this place uh, or see how I furnished it on a budget. Those are some uh, other cool videos that you should check out. Don't forget to subscribe because there's much more coming and follow along my new journey. We're closing this chapter and opening a new one and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>